Hi, this is the Truth of Love, and this is Clutch. Today's topic, Protagonist Syndrome, aka Main Character Syndrome. Now, this is going to be a term that most of you are hearing for the first time, and for some of other you, others of you, sorry, you maybe you've heard it a few times in social media, but what is it exactly? The idea of the protagonist syndrome or the main character syndrome has to do with a particular type of individual. These types of individuals tend to portray narcissistic traits, although not necessarily being labeled as a narcissist. These are individuals that see themselves as the main purpose of life. They see themselves as a central role, the central character. And what is the issue with viewing ourselves as the central character, I can hear a lot of you asking. Well, the notion is limitations and boundaries. At what point do you put a limitation on how much emphasis or how much work you put on yourself and essentially project inner insecurity onto others? And what I mean by that is, if I view myself as the main character in a story, in a main character in a specific situation, at what point am I willing to associate the concept of toxicity with myself versus that being of an external source? For example, I happen to be the dumper in a situation. The reason I end the relationship is because I feel that my partner wasn't up to my standards. I feel that my partner wasn't giving enough. I feel that I am better than my partner. This is something that a lot of individuals struggle with, specifically when it comes to the concept of superficialness. At what point, what value do I put into those that are close to me versus the value I put into myself? This is not to say that being selfish is a bad thing. It's to say that being selfish consistently, the majority of times, and without merit, without prejudice, might be a problem. In fact, if I choose to be so selfish that anyone that chooses to get close to me is often ridiculed or assessed based on a value system that I personally cannot sustain, or at the very least, if I can sustain it, it's a value system that is so excessively exaggerated that no real person could ever sustain it. At what point am I willing to look at myself in the mirror and say, I'm the problem in this equation? The main problem with people that suffer from protagonist syndrome is that they don't see themselves as the bad guy in the situation. In fact, through the series of rationalities, most individuals that share the syndrome will go through this mental story that they have portrayed of them being perseverance and against all the odds they have pushed forward and made it. And this is a nice story to tell ourselves, especially when we are pushing ourselves extra further. It's a story I often tell myself especially given some of the recent events that have portrayed in my life. I have persevered. I've continued to push. I continue to make myself into something. But at what point am I willing to project all the issues in my life onto others? And at what point am I willing to neglect my personal responsibilities? This is the key issue with protagonist syndrome. Individuals that often portray themselves as the main character in all of life, the individuals that believe that they have all the answers, very rarely look in the mirror, look at themselves and say, this is what's wrong with me. This is what I continue to address. And in reality, which one of you out there that is listening to my channel truly is so perfect that they cannot improve some aspect of themselves? I personally struggle with my physical fitness at times. I go up and down in weight. I might as well be a stock market. But I continue to show overall progress. I continue to climb that mountain. Not necessarily in the sake of blaming other people for their projections, because don't get me wrong, some people have been really toxic when it comes to my body image and my self-confidence. But there's another aspect of this equation, and that's the responsibility I put on myself. What level of responsibility am I willing to put on myself to be the best shape I want to be in for my life? Just in the sake of, the sake of argument for my well-being, both mental and physical. How far am I willing to push it? The idea of us being a central character, the idea of us being the heroes in our story, isn't a foreign concept. It's not even a toxic concept. 
The toxic concept comes when I choose to call everyone else a jerk. And the truth is, if I'm truly calling everyone a jerk, the jerk is no further than looking in the mirror. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I would ask that you hit the thumbs up icon below. For those of you that haven't subscribed, I would highly recommend that you do. And of course, if you're interested in one-on-one coaching, information can be found regarding that on my website at www.thetruthoflove.com. With that said, this is Clutch, signing off.